Hi everyone, Harriet Quick okay. So when we moved into our new house back in May, loads of you requested to see like a house tour or different room tours and we've been in our house um, like almost four months and I feel that we're finally getting there and um, with how the house, like how we want it to look. Whilst I'm not quite ready to do a house tour, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do one because it is quite nice to keep some things private. I thought that today I would do what's in my shower because I've never done one of these videos before. My bath, well, our bathroom in the old flat was disgusting. So I was like, no, no, no filming in there. But the one in here is quite nice. So I thought that I would show you exactly what my bathroom was like. And yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm in the bathtub, which is kind of weird but yeah I'm going to show you exactly like what we use day to day so I'm also going to show what my boyfriend uses so you can see some boy products too so that's quite cool if you want to know what boys wash with. Okay so I'm going to start off with basically what's nearest to me so I've got my two favourite face masks ever these are both from Ren this is the Ren Clear Calm Free Clarity Restore It Mask this is my favourite clay mask ever and I've literally I think I'm on the last dregs of it, it's so good, it's like £30 which is proper pricey but um, yeah it's really good, it's good for like drawing out impurities if you're having like a really spotty day which I seem to have like all the time and yeah it's just really nice for like clearing up your skin and it works really well with the clear calm cleanser which I'll show you in a minute and then my other one is the Ren Glycolactic Radiant Renewal Mask, it's the right mouthful I can never say it I like this because it's great for dull skin days because even though my skin is oily and quite breakout prone, some days it can look really dull and dry. So I use this, it's great for also like clearing up spots and red marks and just gives my skin a bit of a boost. So I tend to use them alternate weeks but they're my favourite face mask to use like when I'm in the shower. I use to just wash myself the Rich and Fomous, um Shower and Bath Body Wash by Soap and Glory. I've reviewed this on my blog, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in favourites video somewhere, it smells absolutely gorgeous, it's like, it's got almonds and oats and brown sugar, it smells very much like pistachio smell, it's kind of weird but it kind of works, so yeah I really really like that, it's really really lovely to wash with, so I've used it, I've had that since May and I'm only there and I've used it like every day, sometimes twice a day, so I think that's pretty good damn value, that wasn't the right order of words at all. Um, another one of my favourites, which you all know about, it was wet. <laughs> it's the, I'm like literally slipping all over the place. Can I sit? No, that's not right. Okay, so this is the Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser. How do you sit in a bath when you're not bathing? Um, so basically, it's like a moisturiser for your body, but in the shower. It's kind of a weird concept, but it totally works. Basically, you wash with your shower gel and then pop this on afterwards. It's a really, really weird texture. But I just find that it's really nice, makes my skin super nice and soft and it's great for lazy days when you just can't be bothered with moisturising. So I really like that, I tend to use it um, most days if I remember. Um, and then I like to put moisturising on top because I'm obsessed with moisturising like a moisturising hair stuff. I've got the L'Oreal Ever Ritchie um, Nourishing Intensive Mask, I mentioned this in my recent favourites video. It's just a really nice hair mask, it's got no sulfates in so there's nothing nasty and I know that it's doing a good job, makes my hair super shiny, sleek, uh, quite frizz free. <laughs> so yeah, I like using that again when I'm in the bath. The shampoo that I use is not a glamorous one at all, but what can you do? Um, it's the Boots Anti Dandruff Shampoo for Greasy Hair, which is really sexy. Not much to say about it, but I find that my hair does suffer from quite a lot of product build up, which is why I also use, where is it? The Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo when I really need a good cleanse. So I tend to alternate between these two, use this about once every couple of weeks and obviously use this when I wash my hair. But yeah, I just find it's great for clearing up any build up and all that kind of jazz. So not the most glamorous, but sometimes, you know, you have to go for need rather than glamorous. Oh god, what's wrong with Also I've got the L'Oreal Ever Sleek Conditioner, which again I raved about before in a favourites video. It's just, again, it's got no sulfates in, so again, you know not putting nasties on your hair, it's just a really nice conditioner. So it makes my hair feel really nice and soft and shiny. So I've got that, and as you can see, it's very well loved. Um, two razors for some reason. I am that hairy. I'm totally kidding, I'm not. Um, but yeah, I've just got razors here too. Obviously, you no, know, for like shaving your legs and stuff, unless like that kind of thing. So what have we got what Henry washes with? He uses um, Lynx Fever Gel. He does tend to just use a Lynx shower gel. It's really nice and scented. It smells like boy. 
So yeah, he quite likes that one and this one's got like exfoliating beads in it, so I guess it makes their skin like nice and soft. He's also got like these um, Marvel shower gel things, which my dad got him for his birthday, which I think are pretty cool because he quite likes Marvel superheroes. So he's got those two, but I think that's like his primary um, wash. And then obviously he just uses like my shampoo and conditioner as well. And then I've got some bubble bath. So I've got the Body Shop Honey Mania. This is the bubble bath melt, which smells so good. It's really cool. You like pop it in the bath and it makes it really, really bubbly. So I really, really like that. So let's have a sniff. Mm, it smells really good. It almost smells like fresh laundry. Laundry, what am I going on about? Laundry, laundry, what am I going on about? And then we've also got a Redox Muscle Therapy. As you can see, it's on its last leg. So that's quite good if you've got like a bad back because both me and my boyfriend, we do get bad backs because like we both got jobs where we stand up all day. And you know, obviously we're like, we're 82, no, 22 going on 82. So we do have bad backs. Mm -hmm. And this basket here is literally stuff that is like backup. So, I've got like a mixture of like face cream, I've got several other shower gels, so it's just what we turn to like when we haven't got the stuff out, like some exfoliating gloves, um, some deodorant, why is there deodorant in here? Um, there's some exfoliator, this one's by I Love Cosmetics, the coconut, a lot of stuff that I own is like coconut, got some more shampoo and conditioner, some soap and glory flake away so yeah this is basically just where all the other stuff lies because usually when you buy stuff it's like two for so much or buy one get one free or buy one get half price and i am a sucker for those deals so literally this is where all the like s substitutes stay and we just pick and choose what we want there you go you can see it a bit closer and if i just take you up you can see the little basket so that is from tesco if anyone's wondering at all. So that is just the shower itself. The shower is actually up there as you can see and it's just got like a glass panel and then we have a second shower head which is just crazy. When me and my boyfriend moved in here we were like we have hit the big time. We have a second shower head. So um yeah I mean there's not much use for it apart from really washing your hair when you're in the bath but um yeah there we go. And then down there is like cleaning products and I've also got like yeah, basically just cleaning products, that's super boring. And then there's the toilet, which is also like super boring. And then we move on to the sink. So here is our sink with everything. Oh, my boyfriend's toothbrush is up there, by the way, because let's brush his teeth in the shower. Um, so these are from White Glow. They're pretty good. We really like them. And we like the toothpaste as well, because they just stick to the wall, which is quite cool. So I've got some artificial flowers to like make the bathroom a bit girly. Um, boyfriend's razor, his shaving gel i could not think of the right word then and then we've got my stuff that i take my makeup off with so i've got my clinique take the day off balm which i really like any all night because i've raved about it and the ren clear calm cleanser which again is a cleanser that i absolutely love and have raved about many a time and then obviously just got a nice little flannel that i wash all my makeup off with um, i tend to get flannels from primark and i change them quite regularly so because they're only like two pounds i find that just you get like four for two pounds so it's quite a good price so you can just tend to like throw them out when they're all done and then we've got a white glow toothpaste which like i said is really good some hand wash which i need to refill i've got some through there and then the soap and glory hand food moisturizer if you ever feel like you want to moisturize your hands after washing them and then that's the mirror ball <laughs> that's from ikea if anybody is wondering the bath mat with my tripod on <laughs> that's from asda I'm um, just trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you, really. I don't think there is. The, the bin, that's from Asda, and so is the toilet brush uh, holder. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed having a little sneak peek into my bathroom. I quite enjoyed filming it because obviously I've never done it before, and I quite like watching these because I'm alright noisy, so and so. So yeah, like I said, I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments down below what video you would like to see next. Um, we want to know if you'd like to see like tutorials or tag videos, please let me know. So I hope you're all good and I'll see you soon in my next video.